A short video showing the fitting of a pair of walking, flexible walking, 10 point crampons with a new classic uh, binding, uh, which is a modern equivalent of the old uh, strap on bindings. Okay, so we've got the plastic bail at the front toe and we've got our plastic heel bail here. Okay, so the crampons are adjusted to fit the, the boot so that when you open them up adjustment is using this little bit here spring clip here or you can use a, a nut or a, a bolt uh, it's important you get the right length and what you're looking for is that that the toe the metal post fit round the front of the toe and the metal post fit round the, the back of the heel like that and that's basically the right length so close the toe bail and close the, the heel bail like that and that's uh, the, the cramping on the boot with the, the straps the straps threaded through the front avoiding any twists and with this type of binding it's then threaded through the, the back like that and then it's brought round the front to the, the buckle which is on the outside of the boot like that and then threaded through the two metal rings and then back through to lock the buckle and then tightened up it's quite important with a flexible boot and flexible crampons that you um, tighten up the, the buckle several times and walk about a bit with the, the crampers on the, the boots and re-tighten them uh, because it's very easy for them to be put on and to loosen off and then drop off. This boot here is very flexible it's not really designed for, for crampons but you can just get away with an easy ground uh, with a pair of uh, G10 crampons, Gravel G10 crampons, with the the new Matic, uh, the new classic binding, uh, but it's not really recommended. You should really have a stiffer stiffer boot. Um, that's the the crampons on the boot, and I'll just show you a bit of flex in the, the boot. You can see there's a flexible bar here, uh, but you know, being a soft boot, you're more likely uh, to have the cramping uh, come off when you least want it to come off. And this is avoided by having a, a stiffer boot. These are probably B0 boots, not really designed for cramping use.